And last today, we're going to cover some miscellaneous text issues. We frequently get this request how to create a, a text mask, and you can do so in the text styles dialog. One thing that's overlooked is that you have to set the background of text to the same color to create a true mask. So as you can see here, the background option is toggled on within the background tab. Change the fill color in the background border to black, as well as the text to black, and that will create a text mask. You can change the color later in the text style, but a good way to do it. Also, uh, associating your text to elements, it will allow your text to be driven by certain properties that are attached to the element. So it's overlooked sometimes this option in the tool settings, enable to create relative associations to elements. Just make sure that's turned on. Then you'll have to define an anchor point, and then you'll place the text with the associated point. So if, if you're expecting some properties to display, like if you're using the place note or the place label, just make sure this is turned on beforehand. And then lastly, stacked fractions. That's a very common issue. Uh, you can do, there are a couple of ways to insert stack fractions. The, the most common way is to just utilize textiles. You'd have to toggle on the fractions functionality here in the general tab. So in the top photo, just toggle it on. And then when you use that textile, the stacked fractions will automatically appear when you use the correct formula for it. So for those who don't got, for those of you who don't know, the stacked fraction will be outputted in the text editor automatically if there's a space after the, the fraction itself. So as you can see on that third bullet point, space one half space becomes one half stacked. And I'm not, I don't think you need that first space, but I do know you need that second space there. And alternatively, you can also just manually insert the stacked fraction. So right click in the text editor, and then you, you'll be able to go from there. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.